Limited streaming time. It's good to be back. How are you doing, everybody? Can you hear me loud and clear? Fingers crossed this is all working. It's been a while, eh? Sorry, I've just stepped out of the, uh, out of the shower, so I'm a bit... I'm a bit wet still. It's good to see you. Hello, wrestling fan. Hello, Morgan. Merry Midnight. Hi, GY Goliath. Lovely to see you. Uh, Richard, hi. You're right. Good to see you guys. It's been it's been time. It's been time. Um, and tonight is going to be where well, we're going to be rolling back the clocks, rolling back the time. Segue as we watch some stars in her eyes together. Listen, my PlayStation controller isn't working properly. I think it's just the micro USB cable. Um, to be honest, I, I, I wanted to do um, I wanted to do some emulation stuff today, and I thought bollocks to it, bollocks to it. I'll just do uh, I'll just do old British TV instead. So I had a look, and there's not as much as you would think. Hello, everybody. Gothic Spike. Hi. Nice to see you, Jack. Hello, mate. Uh, Poke. Uh, why always me? 1888. Hi, hi, hi. Erica. Hi, hi, hi. Everybody. It's really nice to see you again. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Oh, it's all the it's all the guys back together again. Uh, yes, yeah, so I had a look online, and I used to watch these. I used to play a bit of a game where I would. It, it's it's a lonely life that I lead. We all know that. We've all experienced me for the past five months, where I used to, you know, you, well, you would do it at home with your parents as well. You would guess who the person was going to dress up as. I should explain the premise. Um, Stars in their eyes is essentially X Factor, but not for cunts. So X Factor now is like, oh yeah, he's an amazing singer, but does it really matter unless he's got a sob story? Oh, what's that? His pet budgie died? It had AIDS? Get him on in into the finals. So it's that, but instead of doing, I guess a lot of them do covers and that and or whatever, you know, they, they, they this one, they dress up as Boy George or Freddie Mercury or in one case, Gary Glitter. We won't be doing that episode of <laughs> everybody these are people with real talent these are you know what this is this is an overproduced fucking itv bullshit this is underproduced fucking itv bullshit but this has got heart this has got heart um it's 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 had a, a various presenters over the years we're going to be sticking tonight with matthew kelly who isn't dodgy. I saw somebody reply to the tweet that I put out. All these, there he is. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, it's, uh, yeah, Matthew Kelly, I saw somebody reply to a tweet saying, oh, Matthew Kelly, don't do those ones because he was outed as a, as a dirty boy. Thank you very much for the sub. I'll get to the subscriptions and all that in a second. Thank you very much for everybody who's donated and subscribed and all that already. Thank you. Um, and he wasn't. He wasn't. It, there was an allegation, apparently. It ruined his life, and he could never get on TV again. So, there was him. I think Cat Dealey did it for a while. Harry Hill did it for a while. The OG who did it was... Oh, shit. Who was the, who was the original guy? Where's Wes Bray when you need him? Wes will know. Who was the original? I missed you guys, too. All of the there he is is... Oh, guys, thank you very much. And we've got a hype train going as well. What's happened here? Hi! Okay, so I've got to get through all the, all the things. Thank you very much, guys. Captain Club owner, thank you very much for the bits. Hey, Adam, so great to see you. Also, on another note, thank you so much for the merch. It's my absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for all your support, mate. Um, Dead Meat Morgan, thank you very much for the resub. Captain Club owner again. Adam, uh, so you're still going to stream, but not as much. I'm a little confused. Can you explain? Thanks. Yes, uh, I'm Tuesday. I'm Tuesday man now. So uh, every week, it's normally going to be at 6, but I was running behind with work, so I pushed it back to 8 today. So I'm going to do like 8 till 9, 30, 10 today, but generally you're going to get me from 6 till about 8. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I might play some games. It's basically going to be me just rambling. You know the score. Essentially, I want to sort of keep it to what it was, I've decided. Rather than saying, oh, I'm going to play Red Dead Redemption 2. Leave that to people who know how to play games. Sometimes I'll play a game, sure, but generally it's just going to be talking bullshit. It's like Tom's brilliant Love You Bye Fridays, right? But without any uh, semblance of uh, a format or a presenter with actual talent. That's what you're going to get here. But there will be lots and lots of chat about discontinued UK food items from the 1990s. Urban Munch, welcome back, you handsome big knob bastard. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Six months on the old, uh, on the old uh, subscription there. Thank you very much. On oh, GY Goliath gifting out the subs. 
Thank you. Congratulations to Guna Lee Mead, just another regular. AH Matter, CWT Wheelie, Porcelain Pumpkin, another regular there. You're all regulars by now. Uh, Luke Beers, thank you very, very much. GY Goliath, congratulations, you guys. Wicked Easy, Hype Train, Choo Choo, motherfuckers. Jackie Chan. Uh, Lolly Lama, there he is. Thank you very much for the bits there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I'm up to date ish. Did I say Lino, Lino, 49, and Nexus Rude Boy? Sorry, seven of the best months of my life. Has it been that long? Is that how long we've been? That must be then. That's when we restarted these seven fucking months ago. Whoo, it's hot, it's hot in here. I might crack open a window in a minute and boiling again. You can see, it's sweating already. Oh, please don't lock Andrew in the basement. He's a very lovely guy. Oh, wasn't Andrew great yesterday? He might be watching now. He might be watching now. I don't know if you are, hello, Andrew. Um, I didn't realise that some of the people in the office, because um, I saw Dick Tubbs' name pop up when we did that finale stream, um, but it turns out that people have just been sort of popping their heads in and seeing me uh, just slip into madness over the past five, six months. Andrew was great yesterday. If you missed it, he was playing a game called Dog's Life. I'd never heard of it. Apparently you're a dog, as the, as the name would suggest, and you go around uh, smelling stuff and throwing shit at people. He seemed to be having a whale of a time. Big dab for Andrew. Andrew was... What was that? It's was like the, the... The Egyptian dance you learnt when you were a kid. Can you do that anymore? Probably not. Don't cancel me. Andrew was great. Andrew was great is the point. Um, the El Dude Brothers. Howdy, A-Train. Hope life is treating you well. I wanted to thank you so much for these streams. You and the team are amazing. Big love, brother. Big love to you. Thank you very much. That was a heart, not a bum. Gary, thank you very much for the bits as well. And Thomas, hello Adam, long time viewer, first time donator, and son of the almighty, Neil. Slaphead. We both loved all the streams over lockdown, and I'm looking forward to this one with the Slaphead. Neil, I'm sending you all of my love, you disgusting, feeble old fucker. <laughs> Ethan, have you seen the great Turkey Twizzler news? Speaking of amazing 90s throwback, if you, if you missed this, I don't know if it's been confirmed yet. I saw it via a lad Bible, Bible article, so pinch of salt and all that. But Bernard Matthews, I almost said Bernard Manning then. Thankfully not. The dead racist bastard. Um, Bernard Matthews are teasing the return of Turkey Twizzlers. They've released a load of like social media pictures. They're coming back. They're coming back. I can't wait. Used to eat them all the time. Uh, but my mum... No offence to her, because she's a very good cook, actually. She always managed to fuck him up a little bit. <laughs> I hope she's not watching now, because she's just sent me £100 for my birthday as well, which was very, very kind and unexpected of her. So if you are watching, apologies, Mum. I'm about to slag off your turkey twizzlering. Uh, she used to... All the ends used to be burnt. I don't know, you guys, if you, if you had turkey twizzlers when you were a nipper, right, was that just a thing? Is that how they turned out? Adam, I get my GCSE results this Thursday, and I'm currently shitting myself. Any advice if they end up as shit as I think they might? It's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be one of the people that sits here and goes like, "Oh, doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything." Because it sort of does a little bit, but nowhere near as big as they're making out. First of all, as well, you're probably gonna do a lot better than you think. I did all right. I didn't get amazing GCSEs or anything, but I was shitting. I thought I was gonna get all, all D's. Didn't. I did all right. I got some. I got one A. Four Bs, five Cs, or something like that. It was all right. Pretty decent grades. I was happy with them. Um, but I was told then, oh, well, you know, you've sort of fucked it up there, Adam. You, you could have done a bit better. Um, and you're probably not going to be able to go to university now. You can stay on for A-levels if you want. I didn't. Um, but yeah, everybody's going to tell you that the, mo the most important thing in the world, and in two years' time, they'll tell you that your A-level results are the most important thing in the world. And sure, they matter. But... If you try hard, and like if you get shit results, right? If you if you try hard, you can still achieve loads. Obviously, they're not as important as people make out. That's what I'm trying to say. I should have been a bit more concise about that. But I still have dreams now where I wake up thinking, shit, I'm going to be late for my GCSE exam, or shit, I've got to get my fucking GCSE food tech homework in. They drill it into you that it's the be all and end all, and it's absolutely fucking not. It's absolutely not. Um, so chill out about it, and you'll be grand anyway. You'll smash it, mate, so don't worry. Uh, Captain Club owner, thank you for the bits. Uh, can we see Jackie, please? No, I don't think I've got him set up anymore. Wait a second. <laughs> yes, he fucking has. One more time. Hi, guys. There he is. Beautiful. 
Uh, Captain Clive owner, life, dog's life sounds a lot like your life, Adam, with the smells and the throwing shit. Thank you very much. Nice to see you too. Miranda, oh, you're complaining about being sweaty like it's old times. I am. Uh, great to see you back. How was your week off? It was nice. It was very nice indeed. So what did I do? I relaxed for the, for the most part. I relaxed. I had a very, very heavy uh, Friday. I went up to Glasgow to see Kenny and Jenny. Uh, which was wonderful. We had a really fun night. We had a few beers in the pub. We had a lot of beers in the pub. We had a lot of beers. Um, and it was great. It was really, really nice. They're like two of my favourite people to to hang out with. I love Kenny and I love Jen. They're, they're both just the best. And it was, it was great. And then the next day, I was meant to travel back down to Newcastle. Ended up not travelling back down to Newcastle because I was so unbelievably hungover. I can't explain. I didn't eat right for 48 hours. No exaggeration. Uh, I was I was not in a good way at all, uh, but it was really fun. It was great. It was it was worth it. It was one of the few times where in in recent years where the hangover has actually been worth the um, the no yeah the hangover has been worth a night out because it was it was great. It was great. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Miranda, thank you very much by the way. Chili Jason, my Pachisi Mania and Patreon shirts arrived yesterday. Cheers, lad. Thank you very much for the support. I'm glad they've turned up. Uh, also, thanks for your lovely comment on my A-level results. Love you. <laughs> my pleasure. Uh, Captain Clive Owner, how is the downstairs weed farm? It's still fucking pumping up the heat, that's for sure. 25.5 degrees. I'm down in water. I've, I've, I'm down. I've got one of those smartwatches. I forgot to put it on because I've just got out of the shower, as I say. But it tells, it reminds me to drink water. And it's been really good. So I'm doing my 10,000 steps a day. Largely due to Pokemon Go, which is... I, it, I forgot how fun it was. Remember, what was it, three years ago, I want to say? Maybe four now. Four? The summer of Pokemon Go. You remember the summer of Pokemon Go? Um, where every fucker was playing it, and we all bought our battery packs. And put our lore things down, lore modules down and all that. Well, I downloaded it again, because I thought, okay, I'm, I'm a sort of idiot that needs a bit of... Um, encouragement to do exercise basically i just need somebody popping up on a screen and saying good job adam you're gonna lose the tits i promise so i was doing that uh and that's helped me do my ten thousand steps a day and i've got my old account and july 2016 that makes sense so let me have a look at my uh, my top rated pokemon niantic i can't remember what team i'm on i'm a level like i think i'm a level 25 or a level 26 uh, Joski, good to see you back. Seems like forever. It does, doesn't it? It's only been a... It's been a week and three days. It's not even been two weeks, because the last one was on Saturday, wasn't it? On that Saturday. Look, I'm here in... T I can't really show you my uh, my location here, because you might be able to figure out where I am. I think I've, I've given enough clues away anyway. I'm opposite the chippy. Um, I'm level 25. My top Pokemon is a Kingla, the evolved Krabby, if you remember him. Um, and where are we? He's He's got CP of... 2065, 2065 CP. Um, but as I say, I've not... You can add me if you want. I'll put my thing on there later. I've, I've been getting loads of gifts because I remember putting my... I'm blabbing on here. I remember putting my friend code on Twitter yonks ago. Two years ago, maybe. And everybody added me. And people are still sending me gifts, which is really cool. So I've got loads of... I've been just ditching all my Pokeballs. I, I don't fucking need... I've got, I've got great balls and I've got Ultra Balls coming out the... Ass coming out my ass. What am I saying? Looking forward to some stars on their eyes. So am I. I will get there in a second. There's a, there's plenty of episodes on there, by the way. So we're all going to play some some games together. There are full length episodes on YouTube. So, whew. Captain Carbona. Our friends and I will still to this day get in cars and go Pokemon Go hunting all throughout the city. And I also forgot how fun it was. It's great, isn't it? It's really good. I'm not a fan of all the fucking new Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I've got great balls. <laughs> hey, good one, wankers. Uh, I'm not a fan of all the new Pokemon. 151 is enough for me, right? And then, as it goes on, they're so uninspired. It's just like, there's that one that looks like a tree. And fine, that's kind of funny. But some of them are just like, fuck it, alright, we've got a... We've got a cat. What can we put... Oh, a, a lemon wedge? Oh, yeah, that's, that's perfect. It's lemon catmon. It's fucking nonsense. Just... Absolute shy. How many are they up to now? Let me know in the chat. Well, like 600? Maybe more? Probably more. Anyway. So I like... I, I get excited when I see like a... 
a Growlithe come up or a, a Grimer or something because they're the original 151. Uh, back in the day, I'd have hated a fucking bell sprout appearing on my screen, but now it's like, yeah, fucking get that bell sprout. How many? Over a thousand. Seriously? Over a thousand? That's bullshit, isn't it? Chris here saying, I've had my Pachisi Mania t-shirt for a few days and I've already gotten laid 10 times. That's in a few days. A few probably means what? Three? That's 3.33 reoccurring per day. That's how... But it's too late. If you didn't get one, you're out of fucking luck. They're gone. They're gone. Path. Hello, Adam. Two days to your birthday. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Is it? No, it's three, isn't it? My birthday's Friday. What day is it? Tuesday. Three days to my birthday. How does it work? Wednesday, Thursday. We count today? I don't know. Yeah. My birthday's Friday. Um, I'll be coming to the UK on Tuesday morning. Yay! I have missed your streams. Hope you're doing well. Love you. Uh, look forward to waiting outside the Newcastle office to meet everyone and get a few pictures. Well, as long as you don't go mental and throw poo up the office like the performance centre guy, that's that's fine. Path, lovely to see you. It, it's, uh, it'll, it'll be an absolute pleasure, and thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Obscurity, who is this sweaty perv? <laughs> Bring back the talented streamers. Did you know the 10,000 steps is a myth used to sell pedometers? Her, her, like you need one. Very good. Habo Club for what? For life. You've got nasty. I am fucking sweaty, in fairness. Uh, I do look like a big sweaty nonce. Uh, and I think I'm up to date. No, I'm not. Moti, where's Bray, gifting out the sub to Why Always Me, 1888, which I can only assume is a Travis reference, right? Why does it always rain on me? Right, right. Adam, it's your birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah, it is my birthday on Friday. I've got no plans. I'm taking the day off work. And then it's a big one, obviously, because we've got... Oh, there's no Dynamite, Saturday Night Dynamite this week. So we got Dynamite, we got NXT TakeOver 30, and we got SummerSlam. I didn't follow wrestling one bit during my week off, so I'm totally out of touch. I didn't watch Raw. Um, I didn't make it into the office today because I was feeling really rough. I had a horrible mic. I woke up with a bad migraine. Couldn't see shit today, but I'm feeling all right now. Still very sweaty, though. Still very sweaty. And there's a few more things happening here. Wes gifting out another sub to HGB0123. What a lovely rhyme. Thank you very much, Wes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Adam, did you know Travis was on the Ali G show? I did, but it wasn't actually Travis. It was uh, it was just Fran and Ali G remixed Why Does It Always Rain On Me. I did. I watched it uh, fairly recently. They had a few good guests. I remember I really liked um, Jarvis Cocker being on there because uh, he did a version of Help the Aged. And he go, Help the Aged. And then Sasha, or Ali G, goes in with help the motherfucking agent. <laughs> it's the fucking funniest thing. Anyway, should we watch some fuck? I'm not playing. Shut up about Spider-Man DLC. We're playing Stars in Our Eyes. This is what this is now. I might do Spider-Man DLC at some point. I'm not letting that become a fucking troll item. I'll play it when I want. I, I spoke to Stephen about it, and Stephen was just like, eh, it's all right. I don't know if it's even going to be that good, if it's going to be worth doing. How many have we got watching? How do I, how do I even check this? It's all changed. Everything's different now. Lads, how many have we got in tonight? Is it a busy one? 365, that's not too shabby, is it? <clears throat> anyway, so uh, let's, we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll on what era of Stars in Their Eyes we're going to watch. Oh, actually, there's not that many choices here. We're not going to do a fucking poll. Ignore that. Your, your, your interaction's gone. We're going to do... Who the fuck is that? There we go, I found one. Can you hear that? Okay, it's Matthew Kelly, so that's a good start. This is the era that we want. Uh, Twitch PC desktop. Stars in their eyes. We're all sorted. Holy shit. So, I'll just explain what this is one more time. The idea is you work in a factory, right? You're a bit bored of it. You've got dreams. You're down the working men's club on a Friday night and everybody goes, Hey! Glenn, you know who you sound like? Stevie Wonder. You should go on that Stars in Their Eyes on ITV at 7pm on a Saturday evening. Meet that Matthew Kelly. Don't listen to what they say about him. And you go, yeah, my name is Glenn. I think I will. I'll apply. And they put you on and they dress you up like Stevie Wonder and they sit you down at a piano and you do your thing and everybody cheers and then the audience votes as to, you know, how good you are. There are like nine or ten episodes of that over nine or ten weeks. And then a grand final, the grand finale rather, 
and uh, and Krista Berg wins it every single year. And that's basically stars in their eyes. We're showing the stream, the stream, the screen. That's right. Show screen. Yeah, shut up. And this is Matthew. This is tonight Matthew, as he's known. Um, because everybody says, he'll, he'll give a few clues as to who you're going to be. So it's just going to be like, well, uh, some say I'm superstitious. And also, I can't see. And my name rhymes with Golden Wonder. And <laughs> but better than that. Uh, and then he'll go, uh, Matthew will go, oh, well, I think, I, I think they know who it is. And then you go, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be... Stevie Wonder Through the smoke Back out the No, there's no smoke at the beginning Yeah, is there smoke? No, there's not Through the doors Back out through the smoke You Stevie Wonder Let's get on with it What do you mean that was shit, Adam? Fuck off, Patrick, you little turd That's basically it I have seen the Frank Skinner interview. I was gonna, I was thinking about playing it, but it's not really the right thing, is it? <laughs> One of the most awkward bits of TV ever. Volume up a little. Can do that for you. How's that? A bit better. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Anyone tuning in now? Is it? Is it better? So this was massive for maybe like nineteen. Probably 1989 or so to... No, earlier than that. It was massive for a long time. Especially during the early to mid-90s. This was massive. This was must-watch TV. Volume up a lot. Okay. That should be better now. How's that for you? So, no cheating, right? You've got to guess who this guy's going to be. So he works at King's Cross on the underground. Lives with his wife, Donna. Is it too loud? Yeah, you can hear something. I can see it. Still quite... Ah, oh, fucking hell. Here we go. Oh, I see that's not really doing anything. What the fuck's going on here? I used to raise pigeons. I'm doing it in OBS. Is that better? It's not a Thornby. Gary Glitter, Gary Barlow. Somebody did do Gary Glitter at some point. Oh, fuck me. What's going wrong here? Okay. Advanced audio properties. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, desktop audio. Boost it by fucking heaps. Boost it by 12. Ooh, not 120. 12. Close. There we go. I can see that's fucking pumping out your stereo now. How's that? He looks like Shaken Stevens. He could be a good Paul McCartney. All good? We happy? Lovely. Brian Ferry's a very good shout. Very good shout. Tupac. Maybe not Tupac. Krista Berg. They had a Krista Berg on every season. For any Americans watching or people who don't didn't grow up with Krista Berg, uh, Lady in Red. Never seen you looking so lovely as you did tonight. And never seen you shine so bright. Uh, uh, uh. There's a great touching moment. I'll get it up later. Turn down your mic. Fucking hell. No, I'm, I'm going to leave my mic as it is. No, if I, I'll put it down a touch. Test, test. One, two, one, two. It might be a bit better though. Okay, uh, my get. Oh, he's got something in common. Both from Sheffield. Ooh. Jimmy Nail. No, he's from. He's Geordie. Joe Cocker. Fuck me. Anyone get it? Somebody said Jarvis Cocker. Anybody get a Joe Cocker in there? 
Some kind of div got in there. P. Diddy. So this might be shit. <laughs> it's not bad. It isn't bad. Let's have a listen. Is the audio all good now? Give me a thumbs up if it's all right. We're not going to watch the whole thing every time, by the way. We're going to skip. We're going to listen to a verse and a chorus, and then we get on with it because there's a lot to fucking get through. Audio good. Yeah, he's all right, isn't he? He does look like Jungle Boy. You're right. Famous botchamania creator Matthew Craig. That doesn't look like Matthew. Fuck off. I, lo I love his beardy grown out hair. Look, I think he's looking better than he ever has. I think it's class. Audio real bad. All I get is static mixed with Adam. What volume do I need to turn up? I haven't got any static here. Audio's fine, fuck it. That'll do. Right, Joe Cocker was fine. An hour and 23 of this. Next. Look at that bulge, I agree. Whoa, what's going on here? What's it doing? It's skipping about. We can see his knob! <laughs> Okay, so she's into disco, she's dressing up, she's having a laugh. So it's going to be a disco artist. I think maybe Debbie Harry? Not proper disco, but... Who else we got? Billy Piper. It's a bit early for... It's, no, you, Lady Gaga's the wrong era. Nickelback. Diana Ross, no, they don't do that. They don't do that. Cher's a good shout. Cher's a very good shout. Olivia Newton-John, good shout as well. <laughs> so she's a fucking pro. Big mouth. <laughs> oh. Jimmy Savile. No. <laughs> Razzmatazz. Don't know Razzmatazz. Natalie Imbruglia? Swing. Oh, fucking hell. Did anyone get it? Gar got it there. Dave Benson Phillips. <laughs> Lisa Stansfield. There is smoke. Da, 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 I'm about out of time there. I don't really know what Lisa Stansfield looks like, if I'm honest. I think we might do some newer episodes. Yeah, I agree. Does she look like that? Yeah. Just a grumpy, moody bastard, then. Lovely coat. Looks nothing like her. Let's get to the chorus. I'm not bothered about this. Is there a chorus? Fucking shite. Boring. Next. Right, well, she's not winning. Not if we're voting. Get her off. Next! It's Dog the Bounty Hunter! Who's he gonna be? <laughs> I fucking love Dog the Bounty Hunter. They put him on uh, Amazon Prime recently. Bear mace those fucking bitches. Come on, Doc. <laughs> so... 
This hasn't been on TV for at least 10 years. I don't really know FTN as a TV channel. When fear and darkness all around you, the criminals are on the run. We're still on the adverts, aren't we? Now he's going down the fucking nick! You cunt! Right, let's get on with this. Yeah, dob your mates in for bringing back too much duty free. An advert for Veronica Mars and back to Matthew Kelly. Yeah, Beth died, didn't she? It's very sad. Good, isn't he? I like the suit. Merry Midnight saying it looks cheap as fuck. I quite like the suit. He's going to be somebody cool at the time. He's going to be like Damon from Blur or... Yeah, look at... He's got bags under his eyes. He's fucking full of scag. He's going to be... He could be... Oh, but he... Maybe Oasis? Alice Cooper? Yeah, I'm going to like Liam Gallagher. Lennon's a good shout. Noddy? He does look like Carl Borat. Yeah, they, they filmed him on the on the golf course, but he's he's rock and roll through and through. You can tell, can't you? Look at the bags under the eyes. Bin Laden, good shout. Ponzi fuck. Barry Manilow. More Matthew. <laughs> That's a good sh I love that closing shot. Him admiring his, his golf club handle. Star Sailor. Cobain is a decent shout as well. Right, come on, get into the clues. You don't need the banter. You shitty fucking anecdote. All right. Child protege on the accordion. Who the fuck played the accordion as a kid? One of the Osmonds? Barry Manilow. There you go. So a few people got it there. A few people, I didn't know he was an accordion player. Accordionist? I really like um, Can't Smile Without You. That's a beautiful song. Pretty good as well. Not too shabby. This is proper TV. What song's this? Oh, don't do it slowy. Is it Mandy? Yeah, it is, isn't it? But the problem is here, sorry to speak all over him. He's just a decent singer. He's a decent enough singer that doesn't sound that much like Barry Manilow, but it's not offensive. He's just fine, isn't he? No offence. I'm, I'm worried that somebody's going to see this that's on the show. I'm not that bothered, but... Rocket John, thank you very much for the prime sub there. Cheers, mate. A reminder. Hey, without taking... There's not much bollocks to it, is there? Do you know what I mean? He's fine, he's fine, but there's no... There's no soul. There's no soul. Next. Get on with it. Is that you, Wes? Sorry, mate. Who we got next? Oh, I love Salisbury. Scylla Black. Scylla Black. I'm locking it in now. Just because she's ginger. Kyla, yeah. Lulu. Shania Twain. So what year is this? Maybe 94, 95? Wish you already had a go. 
Peacock, no. <laughs> She's juicing. Oh. Just get a fucking wig. What are you on about? She started taking fucking supplements so she can look more like... <laughs> what a fucking mentalist. Stick a wig on you, nutter. What? Right, sorry. Oh, fuck the anecdote. Well, I don't know who your fucking mum is. Oh, great. So it's all about you. Yeah, give us a fucking... So it's recent. Re recent. It would have been... It's Kylie. It's, no, she was in... Oh, Louise Redknapp. What the fuck did Louise Redknapp sing? You've grown your hair out to look like Louise fucking Redknapp. Are you having a laugh? I... I sort of remember what Louise Redknapp looked like. I forgot that she was just Louise for a bit. Right, it's the same story. It's another good singer. I don't know what Louis sounds like. I don't remember this at all. It's shite though, isn't it? Let's not torture ourselves anymore. She's gonna cry. Off to the ad break. Oh, so this has been repeated fairly recently. Trying to guess when this is from the adverts. I want to say like 20... No, 2014 maybe? Twenty fourteen? Does that sound about right? Oh, shut up. Whingy adverts, aren't they? <coughs> <coughs> You don't think so? You think reckon it's earlier? No way, 2007. Fuck me, sorry. Oh yeah, I guess it's in it's in four by three aspect ratio as well, isn't it? So no, no, yeah, you're totally right. I used to think he was a good presenter. He's a bit shy, isn't he? Right. One of the cause. Charlotte Church. Too early for Charlotte Church. Charlotte Church would have been a nipper, wouldn't she? <laughs> I know the whole idea is, like, they, they make them as glamorous as possible. Like, this is... The, they're, they're all from, like... They all have average jobs and do whatever... But they, they couldn't make her look more boring. Yeah, just go and have a rummage around on that unit. Right. Kate Bush. Yeah, Kate Bush is a good shout. When the pressure's on. Bob Geldof. <laughs> Get on with the clues. What a smashing blouse. What's she on it? She's doing her anecdote. So she's old. Haunty is Kate Bush, isn't it? It's Kate Bush.
Oh shit! I did my uh, I did a bit of GCSE coursework on Karen Carpenter. I don't even know what that. What fucking lesson would that have been? Why was I writing about Karen Carpenter? She looks fuck all like Karen Carpenter. Absolutely nothing. Beautiful singer. There's, there's a lot to live up to here. She had an incredible voice. Talking to myself! <laughs> oh, sorry. It wasn't a good start. <laughs> She's not bad at all. You know what's really good about her, in fact, is that the rest of them have just been pretty good singers. She actually, she's got like that Karen Carpenter twang. She actually sounds, she sounds quite a lot like Karen Carpenter. I think she's the best so far. Fake Sport Monkey, thank you very much. Apparently this happened. <laughs> Glad I'm here. Yeah, welcome. Sorry if I've missed anyone, by the way. Let me have a quick look while Karen's singing. Because she's the best so far. Rocket John, thank you again. No, I think that's it. I think I've got everyone. Thank you very, very much, guys. Again. Come on, Adam, stop trying to get up. I'll be adding them all on Facebook after this. <laughs> what have I done with that? Oh, it's Nathan for you. I've added half of them. Wes is watching, he knows. Well, it's a decent... Uh... Oh, is that your lot? Yeah, that's it. It's. I think they might have put two episodes together on this. Right, who have we got then? Who have we got? Let's just do a poll while I fill up my water bottle. Uh, poll. Wait, can I have five responses? Uh, winner. So we've got... I can't even remember who half these are. Karen Carpenter. Karen C. Uh, Cocker. Um, I almost said Bob Geldof there. Louise. Who was the, who was the one at the back? Oh, I've lost the fucking thing here. Um, Barry Madlow or the other one. I can't, I can't remember the other one's name. What was her name? You got one minute. Stansfield. I couldn't, I couldn't see it, guys. The other one is Lisa Stansfield. Um, I can't see the, the chat and set up a poll at the same time. But I'm going to go and fill my bottle. Let's see who we got. I've got Karen Carter on this all day, all night. Because she's a proud southern girl who'd be ready to find. Who we got? Who was Jungle Boy? That's Cocker. Joe Cocker. Karen Carpenter. Way out in the lead. Way out in the lead. The other one. Trailing behind. I know Louise has done the shitest. But Louise might have been popular at the, at the time. Let's find out, shall we? Fucking shite. Go on! Go on, my son. She's got it. Karen Cut. Fuck off! Oh, she's crying. I can't really up. Well, good for her. And now the problem is, you've got to... You've got to watch it all again. Shite book in that. That is shite. Absolute tragic. Uh, Atomic Bell, but I'm really happy to be present during this crisis. Welcome... Thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Fuck me. The other one won. Unreal. Unreal. I'd have rather it gone to Louise, to be honest. Maybe she's good. I'm not that familiar with her work, so... The fuck is that? Oh, was that Tony Christie? Nice. Okay, would... Oh, uh, they've, they've doubled it up to avoid copyright. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll do a recent one, because I think we'll know them all. 2015. Fuck off. Fuck off. I can't stand the man. 
This man's a doctor. Fair play to him, right? For Wait, he's a multi multi millionaire. And and he's adored the plebs over, but it's totally out of time. Is that meant to be like it? Oh, I can't deal with the out of time. We're watching a different one. It's so out of time. I'm not having that. I'll find another new one, though. There you go. Fingers crossed. Well done. Well done. There's a funny prop. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 we missed some here. He was stars in their eyes back in 1994. What's happening here? I think we got. No, I think that's your lot, you know. We asked Ross, John Legend, and Debbie Harris. themselves a bit more. Tuffy here, isn't it? Right. We're doing another poll. See, you guys think it's going to win. Winner. So it was uh, fucking Debbie Harry. Is it IE or Y? It's IE, I think, isn't it? Uh, Demi Harry, Morrissey, John Legend. It's because he wasn't a bad singer or anything. That's just a, that, that is, that's a shambles, isn't it? So, God, I'll put another poll in the chat. Uh, do you, do you guys want more stars in their eyes? I've got another half hour or so. We can, we got time for one more episode of stars in their eyes. So we'll do one more. But do you want Matthew Kelly era or do you want Harry Hill era? Which? Never be bothered to talk about uh, Matthew Kelly, Kelly or Hill. Stick your things in. I think people are gonna go Matthew Kelly, even though they're a bit harder to guess because they're older. Kelly's in the lead right now, seventy percent of the votes. So find another one, shall we? <clears throat> Ninety-two. See, that's two. There's a Cat Dealey one there as well. They've, they've removed a whole lot of these recently, which is annoying. Stars in their eyes, kids. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> not doing that. Uh, you know what? There really aren't many good options here. What's... And who hasn't looked yeah, there we go. I think we've got one here. Yeah. Okay, we've got a we've got a Matthew Kelly. Emo Punk, thank you very much, by the way, for the resub. And Bluebird, if I missed you, thank you ever so much. Much appreciated. Um, I can't do Naked Attraction. I'd love to do a fucking Naked Attraction thing. I genuinely would. To to live, it would get me cancelled, wouldn't it? It would get all of us cancelled. There's, there's no commentary that you can add to Naked Attraction. It's one of those programs which is a lot of fun to watch with a mate in, in your flat. But you know if somebody was recording what you're saying, you're done. You're, you're, you're sacked. It's over. So we probably won't do Naked Attraction. I think that's probably for the best. Okay. Give me two seconds and we'll get on with it. Um, your last reminder, if you want to support Cultaholic, you can hit subscribe. Give us a few quid. But don't feel like you have to, because this is what we're doing now. Gladiators is a good shout. Maybe watch a couple of episodes of Gladiators next week. Tweet me your uh, your suggestions, and I'll I'll compile a list, and we'll we'll do some some more fun stuff next time. Something think interactive, think interactive, right? Something that uh, that we can all enjoy together and and speculate on. Fought by Ard might be a bit of fun. Catchphrase might be a good laugh. Something that we can uh, yeah, bullseye decent. Something with a bit of trivia, whatever. Something that we can get invested in. I think it's been a, a, a it's been more successful, Stars in Their Eyes, than I thought it would be tonight. Crypt and Fact is a very, very good shout. Or Crystal Maze. Take Me Out, yeah. Don't Tell the Bride might be fun. We wouldn't get away with streaming it. It's got to be old shite as well. It has, hasn't it? It's got to be old shite that's not going to get, like, copyright strike on it. Beans McQueens, thank you very much. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the sub there, mate. Cheers. Anyway, let's do it. And who hasn't looked up at their loved one and said, "Wake me up before you go"? How's the uh, how's the audio? Don't leave me Sounds about the same like in my. Yo yo, really hits home, doesn't it? A song without lyrics is like an instrumental. 
and an instrumental with audio right. It's just very quiet. Good. So good. get ready for All some good. great Lovely. lyrics and amazing performances. And to achieve that, our star guests asked me what they should do, and I told them. Aga doo doo doo, push pineapple up the tree, and I think that says it all. Our first Why did he do a little Jamaican accent? Tonight. She's already got a great <laughs> voice. If he was doing and all the black right moves, but not the ones you're about to see. Push pineapple, shake the tree. <laughs> Why did he do that? Why did I do it? Fucking hell. Um, my name is Katrina Davis. I'm 18 years old, and I live in Halifax. I'm going Natalie and Brulia like again here. I think what what year was this? Two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, I'm going Natalie and Brulia. At the moment, I'm working at the Star Hotel in. Oh, Wes, mate! Thank you so much. Congratulations to Warby, to ASB, to GNW, to Phoenix, and to Modable Milk. Thank you, Wes, mate. That's really really kind of you. I enjoy my job because it's good experience. Kindly, Sporty Spice. Yeah, she does look like Sporty Spice. For about twelve years now. Every Saturday, um, I come to a jazz class, which I really enjoy. Keeps me healthy. The Danny Minogue, that I sound like one of the cause. Not the drama. I entered a karaoke competition, and everyone kept coming up to me and saying, "You really, really sound like this person." So another I think one. She's got a marvelous voice. So it's a singer, it's a solo artist, really, really rather. If she's doing it at like karaoke her. on her own. Tonight, she's going to be exactly like her. Please welcome. This Katrina is. I like this. Davey. The fact that we're not going to get any stupid fucking bullshit. Matthew Kelly down in a big inflatable banana or something. Sophie Ellis Bex is a very good guest, especially for 2000, now, right? And I love that song. Talent, don't you? I do, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us what it is. What can I teach Keep you? It clean. First, oh. Well, you can. What is, what <laughs> is, is it? Whoa, do? Oh, what the can, fuck is she? Hang on, I'll show the audience. All right, go. <laughs> can you do, do it as well, though? Well, Cubes I'm right out. I'm getting that what out. You <laughs> can do that with my wife. Oh, you can move Ooh. the whole top half of your body without moving the bottom. Oh, she, if she doesn't use that in the, to do yeah. that? in the act here. How do you do it then? <laughs> well, you just suck in like that. Yeah, and then and you, you go just what? move around like that. Just side to side. Hey. That wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, That's really impressive. How the fuck did she do that? Shakira's a good shout. Um, well, she did her first performance. Um, <laughs> just share by share as well. Um, in Australia. Yeah. Um, and Danny Minogue was also there at the time. Oh, it's kind. There you go. Right. Um, she was the highest selling Australian singer in 1990. And the song I'm going to do tonight is um, an Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. I see. Tell us who you're going to be. Andrew tonight. Lloyd Webber. Well, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Tina Arena. Tina oh, what? Arena! Holy shit. Like Wait, who the fuck is Tina Arena? I've never heard of Tina Arena. I just thought that was. Oh, of course it's Tina Arena! I need mean, shapes. Does she look good? I don't know. Not happy. Coming over. Not a clue. One hit called Chains in 95. News to me this. Whistle down the wind. Total jobber. Perhaps <laughs> she looks like her. I don't even recognise the song. That's TNA's Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about for the chorus? See if I know it. And who oh has shit, oh, press. Get on with it. Not a chance. Kelly, I'm 34 and I live in Grimsby. Sting. It's Sting. Two jobs. It, it can't look like that and not be Sting. I'm a part time parcel courier. He's not a Geordie. Time, uh, sing it's the Sting. The clubs. There's first supply to get on the show. If he turns out to be ago, fucking uh, one of the proclaimers or something, he's Mr. Uh, Trinky. Look at that. He's got curtains. The, uh, last year, I got to the Billy, Billy, uh, not Billy Gunn. The fucking um, yeah, Ronan Keating. Like, sorry, is a good show. I, I just saw Billy Gunn under it. Static when I got told I was on a show. I punched the air. Superb. The guy I'm going to be is just a great singer songwriter. Yeah. He's got a great attitude. Great attitude, Sting. Yeah. I first got interested. Charity in music stuff, when I was didn't he? 14. Oh, get on! He's the most boring man on the planet. Here. 
you have Look at that jacket. Tom Campbell special, that. Not a lot now. No, you've had a very unfortunate incident once when you were singing Do Tell Us. Well, I was playing a, a club which was mainly older folks. He's got a very gravelly and, voice, uh, though. I was in the middle of this really powerful, massive ballad, just going for the really killer note. And I've got Tom definitely three, pulls just, it off uh, better. Just as I was singing a note, it shot out <laughs> right in the middle of the audience, and uh, they all fought over it. So that's how <laughs> it they didn't know who it belonged to. Well, no, it was, you know. Well, at least they'd understand. <laughs> Good band to make. What, what a know, fun man. Person you're be. Come on. Well, uh, he's written songs for Bonnie Tyler, uh, a band called Batman Turner Overdrive. Yes. He's done a duet with a Spice Girl. He, uh, yes. Brian Adams. Here. Brian and Adams. He holds the record for the longest selling single in the UK. Yeah, oh, yes. um, the so thing from be, Robin Hood, where he's called. Brian Adams. Yeah. Brian Adams! Do Baby When You're Gone. If he's doing something boring like Heaven, I fucking hate Heaven. Don't do Heaven. Do uh, Best of Me. Called ages ago, apparently, Bradley. Well done. Yeah, it's not a bad Brian Adams, I guess. Yeah, summer, of course it's summer 69. What else would they... Apparently you don't get to choose what you do. They tell you which one you've got to do. Dog shit. <laughs> He's gravelly, yeah, it's... It's a, it's a funny Brian Adams impression down the pub. It is absolutely not TV worthy, that. He looks nothing like crap. Very good, very good words. God. You know what? I've seen Brian Adams live. I saw Brian Adams in 2005, I think it was, at the Isle of Wight Festival, and he was class. I don't know why, but he does stuff on the Isle of Wight quite a lot. He's involved with the... Brian Adams, no joke, who is from Canada, right, is involved in the Isle of Wight Sea Scouts. Don't know why. And this man is no Brian Adams. Yeah, he is a pub singer. That's exactly what he is. Sorry if you're watching, fake Brian Adams, but you are fucking bollocks. Next. Get him off. How about a couple of Americans? Here's a clue to one of them. I looked up their second name in the thesaurus, and it also means javelins, assegais, or spikes. And if that isn't a big enough clue, then join us after the break for a few more. Oh, and by spikes. the way, the only word that isn't in a pocket thesaurus is thesaurus. <laughs> no royalties for me. Bear time, the um, thing I like doing most is dancing. I've been doing it since I was three years old. Just recently finished Jane VQ and business studies, which was the intermediate level. The course. The course that I'm about to do. She just said it. The course that I'm going to. She said the course that I'm going to do. Is really going to be that's what she means. The course. That's what I'm going to do. It's more complex. When I got the call off stars in their eyes, I just couldn't believe it. I had he was saying Brittany. So much I, I, you know what? I'll go Christina then. And I didn't know what to say. I just laughed and laughed, and then I just went. Bewitched, good shout with the. I told my friends, and they didn't believe us. So what I had to do was bring one of the letters that stars in their eyes had sent us into school. To John show them. And when, Once they saw that, they're like, "Fuck oh, off right, with this shit dancing." She's about shit. twelve. When I was young, yeah, I was on this? National Child of Achievement Award, which was presented. Oh, shut by up. Her. Oh, she is, a, she is an adult. She's going to be uh, Rodney's uh, wife, Cassandra, of uh, yeah, <laughs> Only Fools. Songs, you? Yes. Who did yeah, you I'm getting... Madonna. Madonna. Yeah. Straight really in there, Madonna. It. No, I wasn't actually. Well, the song I sang was... Yeah, Gina G pitch. as well, yeah. But when I was younger, I got... Adam, did you lose a bet? No, I wanted to do this, pitch. mate. I'm, I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm having a great time tonight. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is, but I am. He took the mickey and he still does. You look a bit like the person that you're going to be. It's Gina G. Tell me how you got to look like the person. Well, I or went to Kylie. school one day, and I decided like different hairstyle. Put my hair in bunches. Bunches. A very big clue. Now they're all going. Ooh, who's got bunches? I wonder. Tell us, tell us a bit more bunches. about the person. She's um, recently won five MTV awards right. last year. One of the awards that she won was for best song, which is the song I'm going to sing tonight. Tell us where she started. Her first performance was on the all new Mickey Mouse Club. She was only 11 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Was, um, was that Brittany or Christina? It's Brittany or Christina. With Steps, who supported her. 
They supported it. Yep. Oh, it's She's Britney. Very big news. Tell us who you're going to be, Gemma. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Britney Spears. Oh, yeah. Britney Spears! I've definitely heard that Disney trivia before. I couldn't remember who it was. Were they both on Disney? What, Christina and. Yeah, well, she's got a, a school uniform on with pigtails. She's got the sort of Britney rasp thing, the, the, oh baby, baby, you know the thing. That was good, the throaty little, and now, it was alright. Why are the crowd clapping this shit? There's, there's a light up there that says applause. It comes at the same point in every song, mate. I'm afraid, guys. I, there's no clear winner in it so far, is there? Because they've all been pretty. Yeah. I'm 51 years old and live in Birmingham. It's got to be. I've been married to Carol for 30 years in June. And we have three grown-up sons. It's got sons. to be Pavarotti. Yeah, Stuart, there's no. I'm a club steward at a social club in Longbridge. I've been everything from uh, a merchant seaman. Could be meatloaf. They they do, they do and like they shave them in that, don't they? You remember I showed you the video of uh, George Formby. I'm going to be tonight. Um, when I'm cleaning windows. I've admired for a long time because he's <laughs> lasted <laughs> over the years. Um, even with the changes in music, he's come through and he's still as popular now as what he was when he first started. Yeah, red side. I'd like to dedicate my performance uh, to my friends and family who have been. So supportive. I like this guy. He's got dignity, hasn't he? Touch Nobody else has got dignity here. Television Are you hyped for SummerSlam? Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm really looking forward to it. Fantastic experience. I think there's quite a lot to like That's on the card. Ready. It's a bit weird that they got another pay per view the week after, but whatever. The but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Top billing. Please welcome Peter White. It's then Barry White. No, I don't think it's gonna be Barry White. Kenny Rogers. Not yeah. The sailors in the merchant navy be. play terrible it's tricks. It's gotta be Pavarotti. Uh, especially new sailors. He, listen to his he's voice. Right. It's the basiest. Oh, he's got it. Going to be playing like a uh, snooker competition. Uh, and, and why is that? He's going to be able to go from the chest. Playing snooker at sea. Oh, oh, what are you going to be? Uh, person I'm going to be tonight, Matthew. Started out as in the Bobby Doll trio as a jazz singer. Right. Uh, he left and went with the new Christy Minstrel. Now remember the new Christy Minstrels. Oh, it's not then. And he left them and went off. With the band that gave him his most, his biggest hit, which was the first edition. Now he's a big man, obviously. <laughs> Tell us who you're going to be tonight. Tonight, Peter. Matthew, I'm going to be Kenny Rogers. Kenny oh, Rogers! Oh, it's Kenny Rogers! The man who brought. Whoever said that earlier, well done. He, he, he looks like him as well. You've got your winner right here, by the way. This guy, he's going to be able to do it. Ah. I like him already. I only really know him and Dolly Parton. I only know the, the duet. And he'll tell her. Is this the gambler? You gotta know when to hold him, know when to fold him. Is it that one? See, it sounds alright. It doesn't sound as good as I thought it would. It would be, but maybe it sounds a lot like him. I haven't heard the song in a long time. People are saying he's decent, so... Oh, it's not. It's not the song that I thought it was. Seems alright. Maybe this is a, a really what Kenny Rogers sounds like, but...
I'll leave it up to you guys because I just don't know. Get yeah, them off. Cover. Right. We've been speed watching these bad boys, by the way, guys. We managed to get through three episodes of Stars in the Eyes in one hour. About an hour, actually, because I was blabbing on for ages at the start. But then so is everybody else. Best of a bad so bunch. I agree. Poor outing on this one, to be honest. Head south and park up in New York for our next singing superstar. This star has a lot in common with our next It's the last guest. one, I think. They've both been in and out of recording studios all their lives, and they both have a baby boy. So here's little Leo celebrating his big first birthday with star guest number five. My name's Susie Ward-Joyce. I'm 26 Kylie years old. And I live Jerry. in Tunbridge in Kent with... My little son who's just turned one, and my husband Chris. Being a mum is really hard work. You don't realise how hard it is until you've had a child. Um, from from day one, it's like uh, it just changes your life totally. Is it the woman? Um, it's the woman doing it. It's, it's not the bloke. Bigger. It's, it's easier not really Frank Sinatra. He runs around and you know he does his own Cindy thing. Cindy Lauper's. So it's a bit yeah. easier. But it's brilliant. I love Just name the mom. famous gingers, right? That's all we're doing here, well, isn't with it? With my, my family and uh, Chris's family, they all live locally in the area. So it's, it's lovely for them because they Stop can come saying Michelle and McMahon see Leo, is. Which they love doing. And he loves seeing them as well. And with his birthday, it's brilliant having the family so close. I decided to apply for Stars in Their Eyes after I'd seen the, the, the final. And it just got, so, got me so excited. And I've always thought, oh, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. And I've never really plucked up enough courage to do it. Are there still many it. people watching? The it's chat seems very active, but I guess it's going to be... How many, how many have we got in, guys? It's just so amazing, apart from my son being born, obviously. <laughs> Aww. Do you reckon this is a, a fake birthday or a shoot for birthday? Another celebration tonight. Please 400 welcome people? To fucking hell. <laughs> We're on to a winner with the fucking stars in our eyes. People watching this. You think he's going to follow in your Thank footsteps? Because you. you used to do pantomime when you were little, didn't you? Oh, I know. No, I hope he doesn't with what happened to me. No, why? What? Well, when I was in pantomime, I was 11, and I was uh, doing some dancing, and I was waiting in the wings, ready to come on, and they were just bringing the fairy box off, and as they swung it back, it hit me in the face and exploded, and I lost half a tooth, and I had, like, shrapnel in my mouth. No, it's just... Oh, it's nice. It seems like everyone who has ever done Stars in Their Eyes has been injured night, while singing in some bizarre way. And you did it the next night. Yeah. How did you do it? I don't know, just well, like... the it. next night, I shit myself, and then my head fell off. <laughs> anyway, who are you going to be well, tonight? she was first about in the 70s, where she sang backing vocals for Led Zeppelin and Bad Company and Jefferson Aeroplane. This could be Lorpeer. And then in 1984, she won a Grammy Award for Best New Artist, um, beating Madonna. Yeah, it's going to be Cindy um, Lorpeer, surely. in 1994, I think it was 1994, she re-released really. um, the song that I'm going to sing tonight. Girls, it's going to have fun. sort of a reggae-type feel to Did it. Did they do it? Tell us who you're going to be, Lorpeer. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Cindy Lorpeer. Cindy Lorpeer! And she's going to do Girls Just Want to Have Fun. I didn't know they released a reggae version of that in 94. Well, she didn't know either. Didn't know a fucking thing. <laughs> Where's Captain Lou? Oh, that's quite good. I really want her to be good because they're all fucking stinkers here, aren't they? Nobody's been especially great yet. It's on now 29, is it? Oh, she's got the dart. I like her. I like her a lot. We got a winner. We finally got a fucking winner. Give her the trophy. Exactly. If fucking Country Pavarotti wins this, after all, we haven't we haven't been given the right winner so far. She is she is the winner. But there'd better not be a screw job coming in. Oh, I really like her as well. She's got a she's got a bloody one year old son or daughter. I wasn't really paying attention. She's got a little kid. Give her the fucking trophy. Come on, send her to the finals. Should we get on with it? Guys, you're gonna have to remind me who who's been in this because I've they've, they've been so shite that I've forgotten already. So we had Kenny Rogers. We had with Britney. We had Cindy. Who's winning it? Tina Arena and Brian. Of course, Brian. I've got it, guys. Cheers. 
Right, I'll get the, po the poll set up. It's gonna, it's gonna be an obvious winner on the poll. But that doesn't really mean everything, does it? Brian Adams. Tina Arena. Uh, Kenny Rogers. Cindy Lauper. Got one minute. Get him in. If Cindy loses, we riot indeed. Get him in, guys. While we enjoy the remainder of the only good performer of the show. I reckon I've got time for one more. Yeah, I do. Do you fancy one more episode? Because I can get through one of these episodes in about 20 minutes. They're meant to be 45. Fancy one more? Yeah? Good stuff. We'll do one more. We'll do one right, let's have a look. Cindy Lauper, eighty-one percent of the Twitch votes of the cultaholic audience. You see, you're not just the spirit of Cindy Lauper, which you are absolutely. She's fucking class. <laughs> it might just be best of a bad bunch. But I don't think it is. And while our audience give one of our star guests and access all areas, we'll do a cat dealer. Good, good shout, John. Let's go backstage and see what they made of it all. Getting out there and um, being Tina Arena was brilliant, and oh, it feels so it's good. Getting out there and being Tina Arena. Be. Uh, Gramey J. Oh, thank you very much. Sorry I missed you earlier, mate. Um, Gramey J. Uh, Resubbing. Three months there. We're just happy to be here. Thanks for the content. I'm just happy to be here, too, to be honest. With 400 of my closest friends watching fucking Stars of Their Eyes on a Tuesday evening. Shut up, Brittany. You were shy. Britney Spears. Here we go. Kenny Rogers. Or Cindy Lauper. And the winner is Tina Arena! Fuck off. Absolute fucking shambles. Fuck you, Matthew Kelly. Fuck you, ITV. What the fuck is this shit? Who the fuck is Tina Arena? Right, who's gonna who's gonna are we off to London? Let's go to the fucking ITV studios now and burn that mother down. What the fuck? Shambles. They should be embarrassed. It's, it's their fault, supposedly. The audience there. She got all her relatives in. Fucking it. unbelievable. Well, he did say the big dream was becoming a dancer. What's the big dream now? <laughs> a singer, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck singer off. Twitter. Declan, uh, we might have stumbled upon something here. Fuck playing games, just watch old British telly. If you really want Adam, you can expose us to Bangers and Mash. That's a really good shout. I might show you an episode of Bangers and Mash. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's really good. <laughs> I think you should, you know. You've got big dreams ahead anyway. I'm telling you. The Farwell. Farwell, sorry. Far Thank you very much tonight. for your resub as well. You know, Cheers. Weren't, they were a lovely bunch of people. I can't believe lovely. that. Don't call her E.T. Come on. <laughs> okay, should we do one more? We'll do one more. Uh, let me go full screen while I get this up. Uh, we'll do the Cat Dealey one, though. I did see a Cat Dealey down there somewhere. Grand final. No, it's really long, that. And we already know who they're going to be by the grand final. That's the problem. Let me find the Cat Dealey one. There she is. I know that's Stars in Their Eyes kids. I really don't want to sit here and take the piss out of a bunch of eight-year-olds. I mean, I do, but... This is the one. That's Cat Dealey. We found it. We're there. We're there. Lovely stuff. Brittany Dido, Kylie, Rod Stewart, Lubes. Can't believe that's good. Uh, audio all right? It's a bit loud in my ears, so I might drop it. How's that for you? All good? Happy? All good? Sorry, they're all over the place. I'm trying to... Perfect and welcome audio. to Beautiful. a brand new series of Stars in Their Eyes. Okay. Now, last time kids took on the set. Hi, I'm Laura Sutton. I'm 22 years old. And I live in Capel Coch on Anglesey. Come on, sheep. Oh. <laughs> My dad's a sheep farmer and I like to help out sometimes. I only really like playing with the lambs and giving them milk from the bottle. I have to deliver <laughs> the occasional lamb. <laughs> it's an tickle me. I like giving I them milk really like from the bottle. I like to think I'm impulsive, doing things on the spur of Any ideas? I'm Charlotte Church, maybe? And I enjoy making people laugh. 
There is nothing like performing. It's like giving a piece of yourself. It's just a really, really amazing experience. Amy Winehouse, to have control over people Kelly in a Clarkson, way. Kim and Marsh. Kim, she does look like Kim Marsh. It's just incredible. Right. Got animals everywhere. Hello, sweetie. Yeah, it's a farm love. <laughs> We've got loads of people in the audience, I know, yeah. but there's one quite special Rihanna. person, isn't there? Mm -hmm. He's travelled quite a long way. Who is he and where is he from? What year is uh, this? This is 2005. Because yeah. it is quite a difficult show to explain. Yeah. No, it's not. It's so the simplest fucking show in the world. No. Oh, he's a well, talking this about is where I'm Sorry. Up, you see, because okay. I've been up all night, and for our international viewers out there, I used to I'll fancy explain Kat the concept so of stars in our eyes. Hold that, man. Right. Very simple. Pay attention at the back, no chatting. This is Stars in Their Eyes. So, here we are. Stage one, me and V. We have a bit of a chat. Stage two, you give me three clues as to the artist you're going to be. Stage three, you say the immortal line, tonight, cat, I'm going to be. Stage four, you Stage go four, in the, the massive down, anus surrounded the by the The doors, doors open. Look at that. Comes out, no, go back there. <laughs> Look at the fucking... That's smoke, is it? That's a fucking sm <laughs> You emerge from the huge goat sea. What the fuck is that shit? Give a big old wave at the door. Sorry. The door's open, the smoke comes out, and you go in as yourself. Stage five. It's just you come balls, out of the doors, isn't it? You're dressed as a superstar. You sing, you have a lovely time, the audience grow crazy, and then we all go to the pub. And I Bullshit, lead the way saying, let's have it. She's not as salt of the earth as she's making out. He gets Fabulous. it now. Good. That's that. <laughs> Into the smelly acres. Right, who's she going to be? Give us some clues. She's 88. She's oh, 14 yeah. children. So, come on. She had 14 children. She's one of four. The thing I'm going to be tonight is the youngest of 14 children in her family. She grew up in Quebec, Canada. Mm -hmm. Shania Twain. In 1988, she won the Eurovision Song Contest for Switzerland, and she's currently Ooh, performing hits like "My Heart Will Go On" and "I'm Alive" in Las Vegas. Oh, and right, yeah. the song I'm doing tonight is from the very same show. There we go. Okay, so come on, tell oh, us. Oh, it's, it's fucking Celine, isn't Who it? Celine, not tonight. Shania. Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Celine Dion. Celine Dion. My heart will go on. Shania Twain. What a fucking okay. idiot. Okay. You've all got it. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Let's find out. I mean, she doesn't look like her. She still doesn't look like her. I don't know the song. She's an alright singer. Yeah. yeah, she does look like Steph, doesn't she? Oh, is this song? <laughs> Drove All Night, which is a cover of who? Chris Rear or something? Is it Chris Rear? Roy Orbison. What's Roy Orbison? She's a good singer, in fairness. Uh, I'm not fast, but. Next. Feel. Celine Dion! Please ask the bill pays permission. You, by the way, guys, we've we've got ITV to keep this line open. So if you want to get involved, um, you can. Oh no! In fact, if you want to be on Stars in Their Eyes, uh, they are casting for a new 2021 series, uh, and that's the London. Uh, that's the number there. Oh nine oh one 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 hundred three hundred. Or you can just check Teletext page one three eight. Just press your Teletext button now. Details on Teletext page one three eight, and you'll peace, find two more pop legends. All of that led off. I'm 30 years of age. Tony Christie, Meatloaf, Meatloaf. Uh, Pavarotti. I work for a company that sells and repairs forklift trucks. I want a fan out could be on the shelves at work. Marble Rain. He told me I was through and I didn't sing through straight away. And then, what? Yeah, I'm through. It's Meatloaf. He's got Meatloaf's face. He's actually got Meatloaf's face. And this is our old school, the Colesley School. And we haven't been back here for 15 years. Well, this is where we first met. Back when we the were school's very much up, but they pumped 15, in some 15. kids. Mm -hmm. 
childhood sweetheart at school. This is where I spend most of my time. Paul Potts. I always come Craig down David. Here with my dad, so come down no, here. I, every I, other it's got to be meatloaf. They love a meatloaf on, on this as well. Jars, and meatloaf got to the final, I remember, in like 96, 97. Molly knew he was extra very special good. to me because I got married down here last year. <laughs> yeah. We both to get married, but she was pushing for it. And I said, okay, I'll get married, but it's got to be where I want to get married at. This is the Wolverhampton. He's getting married in the Wolverhampton. Manager's stuff. seat. Always wanted to sit here. Comparing being down here, shouting the lads, and uh, being on stars and rising, completely different. One thing, when I'm here, I'm the one that's doing the shouting and criticising other people. And when I'm going to be in this. Oh, that's enough of that. <laughs> he coloured apparently. Oh, he actually <laughs> did. Oh, she made We're in her special like day. Birthday. So I wouldn't forget the anniversary. She's a smart girl. <laughs> Very smart. Now, come on, give us a few clues as to the person you're going to be. He's a rock and roller. Yeah. He's also an actor. Yeah, it's me, like. films like uh, Fight, Club. Fight Club, there you go. Spice World. Spice World? <laughs> picture show. I don't know who's in Spice World. I can't say I've seen it. Day, and he was we so got it. As a child that his dad nicknamed him Meat. OK, come on, tell us. Who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Cat, I'm going to be Meatloaf. Meatloaf! Good luck. I, I like him already as well. And I think he's going to smash this. Singing I Do Anything For Love live, Craig Hubbard is Meatloaf. I mean, yeah, he's a big lad with, with a wig on, isn't he? That, that is what Meatloaf looks like-ish. Not anymore. His name is Robert Paulson. <laughs> Where's the trophy? Where's the fucking trophy? Oh, good lad. Oh, I like him a lot as well. Good lad. Oh, Stephen. Hi, Adam. How are you? I'm great, mate. I'm enjoying myself tonight. Just got out of work. I'm very happy to catch the rest of the stream. Hope you're doing well. Love to you, Stephen. Nice to see you, mate. Bit dodgy there, not ideal. He can recover, he can recover. He's obviously not as strong as me, though, as Mr. Lowe. But he's not bad. On the, on the non-powerful bits, he's a lot stronger, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, Pyro, fucking hell. But he's owning the stage, and I like him for that. All the gestures, that's the way that Mr. Loaf moves. I, I want him to win. I want him to win. So wait, we've had... Two so far. Who's next? I got the My dad Martin and my auntie Wendy. I was actually the lucky one because uh, I got the call because Laura was on holiday. So I was sat around the hall and my mum sent me a text message to say, well done, you've got through. Crazy so frog. I phoned my mum and uh, I was just absolutely ecstatic. And uh, Gina and G. It uh, <laughs> oh. was just amazing. This is the nursery where I work as a nursery nurse supervisor. Fucking Tina Arena. Chaotic through there, so we'll go through and have Tina a look. Tina Arena earlier. Unbelievable. The person I'm gonna be what if she's Tina Arena? Could be Karen Carpenter again, Luke Baker. Um, I love the way she performs. I think she puts so much energy crazy. and enthusiasm into her performances. And I can't wait to step into her shoes for the evening. This is my local, and this is where I come to do karaoke. This is my cousin Dawn and her husband Barry. They're the managers here. Barry's fucking terrified. Laura's always down here for karaoke, isn't she? Comes down a lot, yeah. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this one should start with. Yeah, but once she's on, we can't get her off, can we? <laughs> no chance. No chance. <laughs> I think on the night, sort of the I think I'll definitely feel nervous. Um, it, 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 it could be another Britney. It could be another Britney. I've always wanted to do, and the adrenaline in Russia will be a good I'm gonna, I'll one. I'll take Christina for this back. one, because I can't deal with another fucking Britney. Well, it's out of the pub and into the smoke. I'd love a Sophie Ellis Bexter. Murder on the dance floor is an absolute bang. I'm now you found out you were. It could be Celine. It could be Celine Dion. But you were on your own because you'd missed one of your holidays with your friends because you wanted to come to the auditions. So I'm guessing that was about. So people started questioning. Now, give us your clues as to who you're going to be. Okay, she first became famous in Australia acting in TV commercials. Tina Arena! <laughs> then she gained the role of Tina Tucker in the Australian Soap Yeah, Neighbours. it's Kylie. Right. Finally. We've then got, she unless it's Danny. Got her I, I don't really know. Solo much. career with hits such as Born to Try, Innocent Eyes, and the song I'm going to be singing tonight. Yeah, it's just Okay, so come Kylie, on, right. tell us who you're going to be tonight. Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Delta Goodrum. Delta Goodrum? Oh, fuck me! A lot of people are saying Delta in there. I don't know who Delta Goodrum is, I know the name. Singing Lost Without You live, Lord Tyler well. is Delta Goodrum. How many fucking singers came up through Neighbours? It's like NXT for pop vocalists. I am shite, mate. Jason, I've fucked it tonight. I thought I'd be alright. I've got like three right the whole show. Show, whatever this is. Is this her most famous song, Delta Goodwin? I just want to find a way to compromise. Because I believe we can work things out. Sounds fine. Song? Don't sound like that. Nah. Nah, she's, she's fucked with it. Get her off. Lord, people are not happy. Go back to Meatloaf. Trap. I'll get, I'll get it off for you guys. Sorry. She'll fucking win the thing now. She'll win it. Uncle Ben's Tikka Masala Sauce. Is this the original? Oh, I wanted to watch the ads there. That, that looks like fucking masala. cat food, that, didn't it? That's grit. That looks like a new 2020 fancy cat food ad. Like a fancy pouch of Sheba or something. Grit. Legend. Have you got four? I'm from Bayton in Sheffield. Well, I first started singing, mm. I think, on karaoke's <coughs> and in pubs when I had a few drinks and so on. So I've got a little bit of Uncle you know, Ben's rice. Was it myself. Uncle Ben's? Up and do a few songs. This hey, the uh, music in the background here is an Isle of Wight band called The Beats. It's called and Chicken Payback. Probably in Sheffield. Where Craig David. Came, and she was out on a night. Shaggy. Out Kanye. Jay, it's, uh, it's all go. He's either playing his music or John Legend. Steve, really Stevie Wonder. I think I'm going to go Shaggy here as well. And I've been here four years. Basically, what I do is sell advertising to small and large companies. These are some of my colleagues Prince. that I work with and have been really supportive about me getting on Yeah, the bees the are a class band. Yeah. Love the bees. I used to be in the school with the uh, <laughs> saxophonist. <laughs> I said, there's no wrong with vegetarian butcher. <laughs> What, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Fog and listen to the crowd sort of clapping you, and then as soon as you Luke Baker, I love him to do Luke no, Baker. Obviously, you know people are going to be like, "Oh, does he sound Will like Will Smith?" Not sound like I'm going to lock in. It would be absolutely fantastic. We're not getting Fred Elliott, so who's in? I'm going to yeah, I'm going to lock in Shaggy. Before the camera crew came, everybody was. I do I think she could do it, like the. I've got something very, very special. 2005, when was like just, just Angel and, and It Wasn't Me released? Like 2000, 2001? So, these, She's and I don't gift. give these to just anybody. These are Adam is the only streamer that will watch Stars in Their Eyes and make it so much fun. Love you, Adam. Adam's the only streamer that will watch Stars in Their Eyes full stop, Stephen, because he's not good at his job. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Let's go on the cup. I, I guess we missed the joke, yeah, joke there. Fantastic. I don't get it. <laughs> 
Angel Robbie. No, Angel was a. Uh, and I'll give them back later. Him and Ravon, I think it was. Oh no, that's not Come a Phoenix Knights thing. thing. There was Rick Rock right, and Ravon. I can't remember which was which. Is, no, Ravon was, was Angel. Yeah. The person I'm going to be tonight was born Oval Burrell. Yes. In Jamaica, 1968. It's fucking shaggy. He was in the U.S. Marines and served in the Ooh, Gulf War. Is it? And some people know him as Mr. Boombastic. Yeah, it fucking is. Good. Come on. Well, tonight, Kat, I'm going to be shaggy. He's loving it. Come on. Shabba! <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. What's the outfit gonna be like? Big open shirt, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not bad. That isn't bad at all. Car oh, oh, Carolina. Great song. Oh, I see fucking nailing it. Yes! Look at the fucking hips! <laughs> Look at the face! He's got it! He's fucking got it! <laughs> He's so good! Sorry Meatloaf, you're done. You are done. The worst thing, I don't think he's going to win still. I, I picked Meatloaf as the winner, even though Shaggy should have this. And he's Most of them haven't done a fucking dance routine, have they? He's gone the extra mile. They're all coming back to his dressing room afterwards. Frothing. <laughs> this is great. Come on! <laughs> He's so good! <laughs> it's Jack in the chat! Hiya oh, Jack! How you doing? Jack's team meatloaf he says! Bullshit. I'd like to see you do this Jack! Quite a lot! This guy fucks. Right, we got one more. He's just, he's owned it. He's absolutely owned it. Brilliant. And you found that really attractive. So I'm going to get a place to put that on. Put your throat back, yeah. talk deep. Yeah. And then just go Mr. Lover. Mr. Lover, Lover. Ooh, I don't know, cat. Mr. Lover, Lover. Mr. Lover, Lover. Mr. Probably, probably won't. A million times better than I ever could, and oh, you put a smile on my face. Definitely. Ladies and, and gentlemen, will, Jay after Ray. the show. Next. Sends my sister Katie. Oh, it's fucking We're Britney like or something. She's I'm beautiful, she's not. Oh! I'm a good singer, she can't sing. I'm funny, she's not. <laughs> Is that right, Katie? Apart from <laughs> she's done. What the fuck was that? Yeah, well, at least my I husband just loves me. <laughs> um, this is one of the That was brutal. Pieces. It's a Collage. Oh, she's an pirate. artist as well. That's a pirate. That was a pirate. Um, this is one of my favourite pieces. It's a collage of a pirate. Mm, pretty pixelated. It looks like fucking like Ron Burgundy or something. I love kickboxing. Brittany, what do we think, guys? And self defence. It's a good sport to be in. This is my grandma. I love it a bit, and I come here every day. I owe her so much because she's always been there for me. Because I borrowed so much Lord money. She tries to do it. She's just bubbly. She's great. Every morning we wake up, our Lord. I don't think she's great. I think she's nasty. Singing from anything, Tina Turner to Elvis Presley. I think I am Tina sometimes. She does, yeah. I'm looking forward to meeting Kat Deary. She seems a nice person. <laughs> she's quite tall, so I'll have to put my heels on to match up to her. Yeah, she is very bubbly. Very so bubbly. I'd, I'd love to live with her. Worked for Laura Talentine. Christina. Yeah, that's that. Daigo. Evening, ladies. Hello. How are your heels? Bit wobbly. <laughs> Bit wobbly, but you're gonna be okay. Yes, I'm not used to them. Now, what is this yeah, she idea about you? She thinks she's the balls, Tina doesn't Turner. she? So I reckon I have Christine drinks, is a good shout. I get in the karaoke and I turn into Tina Turner. Do you? But well, it's not the Tina lips. Turner, is it? So you don't to give it away. I'm just little and then it all just bounds out and it's just Tina. 
pink. No, you arrived yesterday Good shout, doing Jack. rehearsals and all that kind of stuff. So I'm guessing that you're living two thousand five. Yeah. Stars in their eyes, celebrity lifestyle. Yes, I got my five pound meal voucher. Yeah. <laughs> meal came in two sixty. Two sixty. So, yeah, yeah. So I made sure I got the full five pound out of it. <laughs> right. Chocolate crisps, drinks the lot. How was your jacket potato? A bit hard, so you could improve on that. <laughs> okay. But I wasn't paying for it, so I couldn't really complain. <laughs> She is dreadful. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, so come on, give I us hope, a clue. I hope she's really bad. She was born in Glasgow. She was originally Glasgow. a professional hairdresser. Mm -hmm. She joined a band with a former member from Altered Images. Mm -hmm. And then the name for the band was taken from the film Paris, Texas. The film. <laughs> the film. So come on, tell us. Who oh, are you gonna Texas. Be the fuck it, what, the, what's her name out of Texas? Yeah. Is Where that her name out of Texas? Yeah. Off you go. Good luck. Singing, I thought want. Texas was just that woman anyway. No, no, just call her Texas, because nobody I thought it was just that that was it. Yeah, pretty spot on. I quite like Texas. Couldn't name a song, but Oh yeah, this one. That's what they're doing to Shaggy backstage right now. What the fuck is that? She's really good, fuck. Oh, she's really good. That sounds just like Texas. I don't know, I can't even remember her name. Oh, she sounds, this, this sounds like a fucking recording of Charlene Spiteri or whatever her name was. I'm back in Texas now. Even though I don't like her, even though, to be honest, Shaggy's had his fun with the dancers. This is all she's got going for in her life. She's putting her relatives down because she's got no personality, so let's give it to her, right? Well, let's get the... Guys, you're going to have to remind me of the first few. All I can remember is, uh, is, is Shaggy, Texas and Meatloaf now. Where's my notepad? Shaggy, Texas... Meatloaf. What are the other two? Celine. What was the other one? It was a strong episode, I agree. Delta. Delta could drink. Right, let's get the pole in there. I'm, I'm back in Texas now, unfortunately. So Texas. Loaf. One minute. Get them votes in. This is going to be a close one in the yard. They can't hold each other. Oh, people not keen on Texas. 12%. Meanwhile, Shaggy in the lead at the moment, 49%, followed by Loaf. Delta Goodrum with 0%. 1%, one person, one sadist, that one's fucking weird little sex pest has gone for Delta there. I think Texas deserves it. Simply because, with enough practice, I can do Shaggy. He, he explained it. Just up like that, I'm not going to do it again. The fear of cancellation. Just say, she's just, she's an artist. Crack on with it. Never shut up, and I'm telling myself not to. Oh, she is dreadful. She's annoying. Come on then. Shaggy's the winner in the cultaholic chat. Four hundred and ten people watching. Oh, get on with it. Come on, we know. Let's go backstage. Is it right? Celine Dion? No, absolutely not. Meatloaf. Wouldn't be upset. Deserves it. Delta good drink. Get to fuck. Shaggy? Yes, please. Oh, he's lovely. Or Charlene Spiteri? Not lovely, but she's got the talent. And the winner is... It's fucking Delta Goodrum. Celine Dion! This is the worst fucking show in existence. This is the worst fucking show. I, I, 
every time. Literally, we've done four fucking episodes of this. Every single time. Go into the final. Yeah, she knows. Useless fucking bastard. Right, so I'll see you at the ITV studio in about three and a half hours. <laughs> fucking so. awful. Right, what a, what a horrible way to end things. But that's your lot. Uh, it is exactly 10 p.m. No, we're not. We're not doing another one. We're not doing another one. But tweet me your suggestions for next week. Whatever British TV you, you want to watch along. Stuff that we can actually get away with watching. Stars on the Rise 2005 isn't going to hit any copyright flags here on Twitch. Uh, recent episodes of I don't know, fucking Tiger King or. You, you know how it works. You know how it works. We're being cheeky here. We're not supposed to be doing this. So let's all have fun together and suggest something good. Some old episodes, of, and, and if it, uh, ideally something that's available as well. Every episode of Crime Watch is on YouTube now. Just saying. Just saying. Probably not a lot of funny commentary if we do that. Declan, miss the opening of you doing a SummerSlam playthrough, big lad. Uh, oh, miss the open. Oh, yeah, shit. I'll do a SummerSlam uh, thing. Yeah, let me sort my controller out. Uh, and one day this week I'll sort a SummerSlam card playthrough along. I forgot about that. Yeah, definitely. Crystal Maze, Robot Wars is a good shout. Might do some Robot Wars. Maybe super early with the fucking obstacle course with Jeremy Clarkson. Skip his bits, obviously. Um, yeah, m might do some Robot Wars. Anyway, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've enjoyed tonight. Thank you very much for to, to 400 people who for some reason wanted to watch 20-year-old British TV. Um, and I will see you yeah I'll see you soon I'll see you next Tuesday no I won't You'll, I'll see you on the playthrough I'll do a playthrough it's been a pleasure bye Good night. see ya